Bonjour, aujourd'hui c'est le lundi 4 mai. Donc d'abord, euh, je vais vous montrer le livre, le, le Petit Prince, donc le livre en vrai. Ensuite, je vais résumer et discuter un peu les, les discussions que vous avez eues. Et je vais vous présenter lecture 3. Hein. Euh, voilà. Donc d'abord, voici le livre. Donc, ce n'est pas si gros que ça. C'est un petit roman. Voilà. Le, 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 la police est assez grosse. Hein. Donc, euh, donc, ce n'est pas une grosse texte. La police, uh, the font. So the font is pretty big. Uh, so it's, it's not that big of a text. It's just, uh, this is a larger format than, say, a pocket book. Ok, euh, j'aimerais maintenant passer aux discussions. Hein. Euh, J'ai été très content de voir que vous avez très bien compris. Euh, il y avait très peu de, de problèmes de compréhension euh, dans votre, vos, vos discussions. Et j'étais très content de voir euh, la discussion active sur Canvas. Hein son expérience est de grandes personnes qui ne supportent pas lui, qui ne lui comprennent pas. Il a abandonné, euh, c'est une mauvaise chose, voilà, parce qu'il ne fait pas confiance à... Oui, donc, euh, le narrateur aimait peindre, aimait dessiner, mais il a arrêté de le faire parce que les grandes personnes euh, l'ont découragé. Hein? Hein? So... Euh, Grown-ups discouraged him, and so he did not become an artist. Uh, um, and so I, I really appreciated that you understood this. Uh, like a lot of, I think, I think pretty much everybody understood this part. Uh, uh, just this idea of his life changed. Uh, sa vie changeait parce qu'il était découragé. C'était une mauvaise chose. Uh, 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 so here. It's, it's a bad thing. So why was it a bad thing? Is it a bad thing because he was a great artist? Uh, one person said yes. Uh, I think he was. Uh, un très bon artiste. Uh, but um, I wonder too if if the, the heart of the message is not so much about how good of an artist he was, but necessarily like the influence of serious people. Uh, and I'm using kind of air quotes for that. Right? Serious people who say, oh no, you should study history. Uh, I think somebody mentioned that, yes. Donc, ils lui ont dit d'étudier l'histoire, le calcul, la géographie, right? So, uh, they told him, oh, study, you should study serious things like history, calculus, geography, uh, concrete sciences with, with uh, practical applications in the real world. Uh, um, and so, these are, these are quote-unquote, serious people, right? Serious grown-ups are saying, well, there's, this is silly to, to do drawings, um, right? So, yeah, overall, well done. Oh, well done. Um, I wanted to mention uh, that Canvas, you know, this is, these are unpublished, you know, so it'll look a little different for you, uh, but I've posted the third reading, as well as a discussion in French, a discussion in English. Um, Once again, I wanted to kind of go through the, the, the text. Um, again, we've got these great illustrations, which really add a lot to the text. It's a real character. It's a real marking trait of the text. Um, uh, again, I think you kind of understood it, so there's nothing really that I can see that I really want to spend more time on it. Um, I want, I want to underline this, elles ont toujours besoin d'explication. Les grandes personnes ont toujours besoin d'explication. Les grandes personnes ne comprennent jamais rien toutes seules. Et c'est fatigant de toujours et toujours leur donner des explications. Uh, and so I want to, um, and then, uh, j'ai beaucoup vécu chez les grandes personnes, je les ai vues de très près. Ça n'a pas trop amélioré mon opinion. So, I really want to draw your attention to these things, um, not as like extra work or anything, but just to keep in mind, uh, just to keep in the back of your mind as you're reading the rest of the text. This idea of grown-ups as, um, to a certain extent, insufferable. Grown-ups as kind of like um, 
a source of kind of uh, annoyance or kind of um, a nuisance to the the narrator uh, and I, I want to keep keep you know keep that in mind this kind of voice where it's talking about grown-ups don't understand anything by themselves uh, it's gonna be especially important for the reading that I've assigned for this week uh, for 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 Wednesday but also for this week um, it's a little bit of a longer reading as you can see so um, I anticipate you know we'll probably spend this day uh, Monday and probably Wednesday's class going over this reading I don't think I'll assign an extra reading for Wednesday um, I want again I kind of want to take it slow instead of going too fast and maybe missing some important stuff so um, once again with the readings do your best uh, make sure to underline and stuff I really appreciate looking at your readings looking at your work in class kick being able to see what you've underlined I really want to see you kind of engaging with text underlining the text uh, you could even you know draw little hearts and stuff like if you like stuff or thumbs down you know do whatever makes sense to you um, uh, I've also marked where I want you to stop the reading. <laughs> it's not a very uh, graceful way of doing it, but uh, I just wanted to make it clear that I'm not expecting you to continue past past here. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah, it looks kind of goofy. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so for this reading that's coming up. I'd love for you to discuss the following questions in French. Uh, dans cette lecture, le narrateur rencontre le petit prince pour la première fois. Où se trouve le narrateur quand il rencontre le petit prince? Est-ce qu'il est dans la ville? Est-ce qu'il est à Paris? Est-ce qu'il est en Californie? Est-ce qu'il est, qu est euh, en vacances? Euh, quel âge a-t-il selon vous? Uh, et attention, son âge n'est pas donné. Hein? Donc c'est une question de de vous devez deviner. Hein? So I'm asking you to guess here. Uh, it's not it's not uh, it's not in the text. Uh, ce petit prince est exceptionnel. Comment? Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Qu'est-ce qu'il dit qui le rend exceptionnel? So what makes the petit prince exceptional? And then I'm I'm kind of copying and pasting the English discussion, uh, but then also now that you've read a few pages of it, uh, you've got enough to, to kind of get a sense of the style and the voice of the text. How is it different to or different from or similar to other texts you've read in the past? Um, I heard some really good kind of parallels drawn uh, in the in the discussion on YouTube Live last Wednesday. Uh, which brings me to my last point. Uh, Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. I'll continue having that YouTube live session. Um, uh, even if only a couple people show up, it's I feel like it's worth it. I'm happy to, to chat with y'all. I do miss y'all. Um, and uh, it's a good chance to, to catch up, but also, you know, uh, if you have questions about things. So please do come through even if you don't have questions. Um, otherwise, take good care. Uh, the weather's changed, which is nice. I hope you're getting outside and, you know, being safe, keeping your distance, wearing masks and such when you're getting outside, but still, you know, getting outside a little bit and enjoying the weather, because uh, I think that's important. Okay, au revoir.